I'm back with the video that I promised from last week and this is going to be my part two to my skincare routine little series that I'm making and this one's going to be all about my body care. Now, like I mentioned last week, I've made a video, I want to say about two years ago, maybe even three, um, how I cured my back acne. And it wasn't anything super severe, it was pretty mild actually, but I feel like what I did before worked really well. But what I'm doing now has worked extremely well for me and I wanted to share it with you guys, kind of an, like an update. But I'm going to go ahead and link the old video down below in case you guys want to watch it. I feel like the products that I mentioned in that one is still pretty great. But um, I want to share with you guys what I'm doing now, so let's go. I'm going to start off with the way that I cleanse my body. And what I've done is actually changed my body wash. And the one that I've been using lately is the Method Foaming Body Wash. Now this one I've absolutely fell in love with and I've been using it almost consistently for the past uh, I want to say six months before that I would just use the regular method body wash the one that's kind of like creamy in consistency and uh, both of them work really well I just really like the foaming one because I feel like it's kind of fun to have a foaming body wash but both of them work great they have a lot of ingredients in them that help keep your skin moisturized they and clean um, there's not a lot of chemicals in them that you can feel that it gets yeah, it gets your skin irritated. Um, what I do is that I use the um, body wash on a loofah. I use just like a basic loofah that you can find for like a dollar at the store. And I scrub my body. Uh, I really concentrate it on my back. Um, I make sure that that one's clean and it gets washed off. Make sure that there's no soap residue behind. And um, it works great. I really, really like it. I feel like because of the ingredients in it, it really helps keep my skin in balance. Something that I didn't do before that I do now and I make sure that I do now is I moisturize my body. Now before I used to be really lazy to use lotion and especially on my back you know I would if I did put lotion it would be basically my arms and my legs um, but ever since I really started taking care of my skin I started using lotion on my back and the one that I'm using right now is the Nivea um, body lotion and this one is actually the richest one out of the whole line that you can get they have different levels this one I've used because ever since coming home from college I I live in a desert environment a des desert climate and it's really dried on my skin so I feel like the richness of this Nivea lotion has really helped keep my skin moisturized without feeling really greasy and that's what I really like about them because there's some that I've used that are super greasy and those ones aren't good those ones would actually make my skin kind of flare up or break out on my back but this one Surprisingly, even with its thickness and consistency and the richness of the uh, of the moisturizer, it really hasn't broken my butt, my back out, and um, I feel like it's actually left it really nice and supple. Um, I really I really enjoy it. Now this next step is probably going to be more for the girls because I doubt that guys wear these things, but I mean you can still listen. It's fine. I mean maybe you can tell your girlfriends like, hey, this is what I heard. But anyway, one thing that I've stopped doing in order to help improve the acne on my back is I stopped wearing bras to sleep. Now before I used to wear them all the time because I always thought that it would be really uncomfortable not to wear them. Um, but I just was thinking to myself one day, you know what, I'm going to just test it out. I'm going to try to sleep without it for a week and see if it makes any difference. And at the end of the week what I found out is that the part where my bras would be touching my skin, so it would be like really close contact to my skin, um, that's where I would get breakouts, so especially like right here on my shoulder and the lower part of my back. And so when I started seeing that clear up, I was like, okay, now I know that the really close contact with the fabric to my skin is what keeps or what causes my breakouts. And I started thinking about it, of course, because when you're sleeping, whether you think you do or not, you sweat. And because that's what's uh, accumulating there, it causes your pores to get clogged. So I stopped wearing them all together. When I go to sleep and I wear uh, loose clothing and uh, I like to wear tank tops that way that I don't sweat a lot if, if I do. Um, you know, just keep my skin aired out. And I feel like it's really made a difference. I've even tried wearing sports bras to sleep because I thought maybe because of the material that it would help breathe. But even wearing sports bras would cause acne in some areas, uh, especially, you know, in the middle part of my back where sports bras tend to just kind of like... I don't know what the fabric usually is. So yeah, not wearing bras to sleep has made a tremendous difference and I feel like that's one of the biggest differences that's, um, that's made my back acne clear up and yeah, I guess I'll never go back. 
So I guess the last tip that I can give you guys is that I always make sure that I take a shower at night time. And the reason why I do this is because if I try to take a shower in the morning, I feel like obviously by night I'm dirty again. And I don't want to take two showers in one day. That really dries out the skin. And I feel like drying out the skin is counterproductive because the more your skin dries out, the more oils your body tries to produce to compensate for the dryness. And the more oil you produce, the more body acne that can be... Um, that can come up because of it. That can be the result from it. So I always make sure that I take a shower at night time. Unless I, you know, I go to the gym or something. Then I have to take a shower earlier in the day. And then I take another one at night. But uh, yeah, always at night time. Um, taking two showers a day, like I said, I think it's just a little much. I know a lot of people do it. My mom does it. But you know, I'll you know, do, do what you want. And that's about it. That's all the things that I do in order to keep my back acne at bay it's really made a huge difference like I've said before and I feel like these tips and tricks they're not something that's extremely re revolutionary or anything but I feel like we overlook them a lot I mean I know that I did I did for a very long time and now that I'm actually consistently doing them I do it without thinking and I feel like it's really really improved the way that my skin is and uh, you know I think it's important to take care of your skin because once we get older, we don't want to have really, like, dried up, cracked, or, like, really lackluster skin. So I feel like, you know, we got to keep our, not only our face skin, but our whole body in mind when it comes to the future. So, yeah, that's, that's it. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, like always. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks for stopping by. Anything you guys have questions on, don't feel free scared to leave them down in the comments below i'm always trying to answer you guys' questions or just respond to you guys um i love seeing you guys comment it's pretty fun actually interacting with people but anyway i uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful day and until next time creep it real